Origins 2018 in Columbus, Ohio. And today we are with Jelly Bean Games with Peter C. Haywood. Hello. Hello, I'm Mandy Hutchinson. For those of you who are not familiar to seeing my face, I'm usually the voice on the podcast with you're, Suzanne. You're usually the only blue head person on, That's but I true. had to come and ruin it for you I today. know, look at this. This is fantastic. <laughs> We're giving you a lot of blue, so I'm sorry. I just have to go with it. <laughs> so what have you come to show us today? So I have a few games uh, that I want to show you. This is called The Lady and the Tiger. Oh, okay. It is a pack of five games that all use these exact same components. Okay. So there's 18 tarot sized cards and 25 little tokens. Mm -hmm. And with that, you can play not five variants of one game, but five completely different games. Okay. There's a solo game, there's a maze game, which I've set up here. Right. There's a deduction game, a two player deduction game, there's mm -hmm. a bluffing game, there's a bidding game, kind of Euro y. So everything that you could possibly want is all in this one box. And I know we were talking about it. I've played Favor, which is a game that plays two to four. Yep, that's the, the bidding game. The bidding game. And I'm not usually a huge fan of bidding, and I really enjoyed it. And I like the fact that you had multiple games in one box. Like it wasn't variants of the same game. Yeah, no, they're. they're, yeah. they're as different as two games can be using the same components. And the art is fantastic. It, my, I, it reminds me of a very Disney-esque look. Actually, our, our artist for this is an ex-Disney artist. Oh, okay. Uh, Tanya Walker. She used to oh. work for Disney in Australia, okay. and now she does board games full-time. Oh, you can tell, and it's, it's fantastic. So I think this really drew my eye in. The detailing is, is wonderful. You've set up here Labyrinth? Yeah, so this, okay. this, is, this is one of the variants in the box. It's a very simple abstract game. On your turn, uh, so these are my five little tiger cubs. Okay. <laughs> and I'm trying to escape this wicked queen and get home to me, the tiger mother. Ah. These are your five tiger cubs. I did make you not blue. Thank you. Because otherwise I would get confused. <laughs> That's just too much. Uh, and you're just trying to get these here. Okay. On your turn, you do two things. Okay. First, you move one of your tiger cubs to an adjacent card. Okay. And then you switch two cards. Oh. Now, the two cards have to have at least one tiger on them, so it can be yours or someone else's. Right. They have to be in the same row or column. Oh. You can't switch these corner doors. And these cards here tell you which ones you can switch. Oh my goodness. So right now I can switch any two blue cards or any two lady cards. Okay. So let's say I switch this lady card with this lady card. Okay. I'm quite a bit further towards my goal. Because I've done this, I switch the lady one. And on your turn, you'd have to switch two blue cards or two tiger cards. Right. That's okay. the entire rule set of the game. Oh. So okay. you go back and forth uh, playing that until one person has all five of their tiger cards to the opposite corner. Okay. Very neat. My goodness, I feel like that's a lot of memory for me because I have no memory whatsoever. <laughs> All of the games in the box actually come uh -huh. with two little cheat sheets. That was my next question. I so, love player aids. So this one is for Labyrinth, and there's two because it's a two-player game. Right. We've got two here for Doors because that's a two-player okay. game. Yeah, so we've got Doors. Uh, the game comes with a little solo puzzle game called Hordes, so that has one. Okay. Uh, Favor is the one that you played, and that comes yes. with the four reference cards. Which is great and very useful for someone like me who doesn't remember anything. And then one of the games in the box is two to six players. Okay. So we have six copies of the reference card oh, for that Oh, that's great. One. So people don't have to share. Exactly. That's the biggest thing. Oh, yeah, we fantastic. call this the couples box because there's five games and all but the solo can be played with two players. Okay. Uh, you can play with more, and it's, it's good at all player counts. And you can play the Souls of Cove if you want. Okay. And how do people get a hold of this game? So this one is coming to retail in September, but in the meantime, you can buy it from our website, jellybean.games. Okay. Or we're, we're at all the major cons. Okay. And what's the price point about on uh, this one? This one's $20 US. $20. $19.95. Oh, okay. So that's fantastic. And you're getting all that in the box. I think that's wonderful. We also have a little deal on at the con, where if you buy $25 worth of games at our, our box, you get the travel version. It's just the cards. They're in uh, in a little little tiny card version. Oh, neat. And it's it's all the cards, none of the tokens. So you can just use sure. dimes or whatever you have. Or I don't know, pennies or. Do you guys have dollar coins? We don't have we don't have pennies anymore in Canada. You don't have pennies? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, or whatever you like, <laughs> and you can play it that way. And that's it. Uh, only available through our booth. Through the booth. Okay. Yes. So it's not something that you can get separately. No. Okay. Fantastic. So I know I have to get this one played. I played favor, but we need to, I need to delve into some of the other ones. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a good night just learning the games and playing them. And they're all like, I realize there was a lot to remember, but that's the entire rule set of the game. And they're okay. all about that simple. Okay. So do we have time to play through a little bit of this or do you have uh, other games you want to show? I do want to show you a game called Hidden Panda. Okay. That is live on Kickstarter right ah, now. Okay. Do you need room for this? Because uh, we can yeah, clear this a little bit. Let's clear that just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> make a, make We've a stack, made a of nice kind stack of ladies and tigers. Ladies and tiger pile. A pile. <laughs> uh, so this game is called Hidden Panda. It is a social deduction game for all ages. Okay. So the bandits have stolen all of the baby pandas. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're now back at bandit camp doling them out. Okay. Oh, they're so cute. Fortunately, Grandma mm -hmm. and the zookeeper have led a team of pandas to come and get them back. Okay. So uh, every, every turn, 
So basically, the two teams are the bandit team and the panda team. Okay. At the end of the game, whichever team has the most baby pandas is the winner. <laughs> That's so adorable. Okay, so this is two player only? Uh, no, this is a social deduction game. So this social, is five oh, social to eight deduction. players. That's right, that's what you said. So yeah. run me through a turn. Like, so uh, so at the start this. of the game, these are all dealt out. Okay. So you might secretly be a panda, but no one knows. Okay. Uh, or you might be a bandit. Uh, grandma flips and she plays face up. So okay. one of the players is going to be face up. So she goes, okay. Yep. She knows right, who everyone right. is. But if she's just like, well, I'm going to give all these pandas to this panda, then the bandits will quickly work out who the pandas are, and right. the pandas are trying to hide. Right. So let's say we're playing an eight-player game. This would be the setup. Okay. Uh, the pandas only know each other. Right. Grandma and the zookeeper know everyone. They know everyone. And the bandits only know themselves. Oh, okay. So it's a social deduction game with uh, everyone has a bit of information. On your turn, you hand out three pandas, whoever you like. So okay. let's say I was grandma and I'm taking the first turn. Okay. Like I said, I could give them all to the panda and then my team's close to the winning, but the bandits now have a pretty good idea of who the pandas are. Right. Then I give out one piece of bamboo. Okay. Aww. If a player gets three pieces of bamboo, okay. everyone votes on whether or not to net them. Oh. If all the pandas are netted, game over, the bandit team immediately win. Okay. Otherwise, at the end of uh, grandma's third turn, so she starts and she gets the last turn, okay. whichever team has the most baby pandas is the winner. Adorable. Yeah. How long does the game take? It seems like About it's a short... 20, 25 minutes? 25 yeah. minutes, okay. The aim was basically, there's a lot of social deduction games out there, but we really wanted to make one that was family friendly. Of course. And so there's no like dark, you know, mysterious underworld or, or, or murderers or anything like this. This is a game about pandas trying to get their babies back. Okay, and everyone, well, I think most people like pandas. I do, they're cute. If you don't like pandas, you're probably not going to enjoy this game. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> but no, it's definitely really fun. I know social deduction games for me on a whole, well, it's kind of iffy. I feel it's always the same thing over and over again. I think the theme is rather appealing, and I think the people that you generally play with are a really good indication of how much fun you're going to have. But this sounds like a lot of fun, and it doesn't overstay its welcome, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. And this is, you said, on Kickstarter. Kickstarter. On Kickstarter right now. And how Hidden long is it going? game.com. Okay, and how long is it on Kickstarter? It for? ends in early July. Oh, July. Okay, so people just still have some time yeah. if they want to get in on still that. Still got time. On okay. the, on the, it, it ends on the Friday of Dice Tower Con. Okay, see? <laughs> I can tell you there that. There you go. So, yeah, people will definitely have that date marked, yes. I hope. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, and I know you had something else. Yes. I've okay, got, I've got so I know games. Gonna, no, this is wonderful. Let's, let's stack the ladies and the tigers and the pandas. Yeah, let's just make a big. <laughs> We're a making a just nice pile of things. So, this game is called Ninjutsu. This okay. is the newest game in our Treasure Hunters line. So the Treasure Hunters games are Scuttle and Ninjutsu, and we have one coming on Kickstarter soon called Brains. Okay. Scuttle is pirates, Ninjutsu right. is ninjas, right. and Brains is zombies. Oh, okay. And they all have uh, this gorgeous art by Kelly Joe, who actually also did the Hidden Panda art. Okay. And the, uh, the cool thing about this series of games is they all, they all play completely standalone. You can shuffle any two of them together, okay. or all of them together oh, if you want. Oh, and then they'll work. Oh, yep. neat, okay. This works with no, no rule changes or anything. You shuffle them together and you play. Okay. So it's one super simple game. On your turn, you either draw two cards or play a card. Right. And when you play a card, you can either play it for its points mm -hmm. or for its ability. Right. Uh, that, that's true of all the Treasure Hunters games. This one has a little twist in that you can play cards face down. Mm -hmm. And some of them have a little special thing if there's a key icon. Right. While face down, this is worth 10 points instead of 5. Ah. But while it's face down, people can steal it. Right. That's right. Uh, is this it, the one that had the trap doors? Yes. Or, yes. yes. The <laughs> I remember that. The you traps. play this one. So <laughs> this explosives, for instance, if someone steals it, uh, then they get the treasure. So right. So it's worth two points for them, but they have to discard their hand. Right. Ah, uh, okay. So, and what's the, sorry, what was the amount of points you need to 21 or more. 21 or more. Okay. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Yeah, this one was sneaky. Yeah. I had some really good cards, and then they were gone based on cards that somebody else played. Yeah. So you can't necessarily hang on to your cards. How long does the game generally take to play? Uh, five to ten minutes. Okay, so it's, it's really short. Fast, I remember yeah. playing quite a few games at a time. Yeah, people I generally play a few back-to-back. -back. Yeah, we played it at lunchtime. It was a great lunchtime game with the colleagues and stuff, yeah. and uh, they really enjoyed it. And again, with that kind of hidden element, you know, people like to play tricks on each other yeah. and be a little mean sometimes. My favorite game in a game, my favorite thing in a game is to trick people. Exactly. And so I make games for me where I get to, I get to trick them. It's always in a, in a nice way, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in a friendly way. Like. <laughs> <laughs> what we hope. <laughs> so I think they're all, now I know Scuttle, I think it had something, not necessarily traps, but it has like disease or something in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, one of the little uh, expansions that comes in the box right. is called Scurvy. Scurvy, that was yeah. it. I remember that. And so, so you, you can take Scuttle and Ninjutsu, shuffle them together. Okay. You don't learn any new rules, you just start playing. And you just play. Yeah. And you can just basically, yeah, because I mean you would use the abilities on that or use the ability on this depending on what came up. Yeah, oh, exactly fantastic. right. Okay, yeah, all, all of the Jelly Bean games uh, have one thing in common, which right. is that we make them for kids to play with other kids. 
or for adults to play with other adults, right. or for kids and adults to play together without either side ever getting bored. See, that's nice. You're, mar you're, you're marking it in a way that it's very straightforward. This is our group. We're not, yeah. you know, you're not saying it's for this, you know, this extremely heavy gamer that want. No, it's for families and yeah. play together. Families, and I like parents. That. Yeah. Uh, games you can play with the kids or when they've gone to bed, you can like get a few yeah, games in. Yeah, exactly. Good for travel. These are great for yeah. cons and events like this. Absolutely. Just toss them in your bag oh, and go. Ninjutsu actually comes uh, in the box with a little tuck box. Oh. So, if, so if you can travel it. Yeah, you can travel the whole game in this. So this is, I'm going to do mind if I show that. So it's yeah, called absolutely. Sabotage. I had the urge to sing Beastie Boys right there, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, I feel like I feel like it's an urge that you have on a regular basis. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I sing when I game. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, the tuck box you can play to travel with the yep. game. Okay, yeah. and does it fit just this game, or does it have enough room to fit? Uh, I think you can probably fit Scuttle and Ninja 2 together. I've not actually tried. Okay, there you go. See, I ask these tough yeah, no, questions. Yeah. Put me up. It's a gotcha question. It's a gotcha. This is gotcha I'm journalism, sorry. Mandy. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not what I plan to do at all. So anything else coming out from Jelly Bean Games that we need to be aware of? Uh, well, the, the next big project we have is Brains, which is the third one in the Treasure Hunter series. Right, that's what you mentioned And that's earlier. Zombies. And that's a zombie. So it's going to be, again, something that you can yep. mix in. Yep, and you can shuffle it together. That one, uh, all of them have a little like twist on the formula. And right. that one, you all have your own personal little discard pile. Uh, Okay. And getting cards in and out of that is where a lot of the strategy lies. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So Scuttle's very light and fast. Ninjutsu's a little bit bluffy. And then Brain's is a little bit more kind of deck builder-y, like right. a little bit more thinky. Okay. And then combined, you get a mix of, of cool things. Mix, which is nice. So different levels for different people. Which exactly is right. what you're trying to go for. So where can we find you? Or uh, Jellybean.games. Okay. Well, we're here at Origins, booth 367. 367. And then don't forget, you've got Kickstarter. We'll give it to everybody one more time. At hiddenpandagame.com. Com. Thank you so much for sharing these games. I've enjoyed a lot of these um, myself with my uh, colleagues on other channels and at the Dice Tower. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming up from you. Cool. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks so much for everyone watching and for joining us. And head over to Q&A, get some questions in, and we'll see you soon. Bye.